Okay, so here's another kind of lesson for you just to kind of set you guys on the right path, you know. So let's go start that sort of thing. So many times you see people practice JKD, you see them go, ah, oh, jab, cross, hook, uppercut. I'm not going to say that this isn't right, but these are boxing techniques. And although there is a certain boxing element in Bruce's martial art, now why would I hit the guy with three punches? Why would I go like one, two, three? Why would I do that? Why would I, why would I punch him the, the chin or punch him the nose? Right? When it's hard to knock the guy out, why don't you just finger jab? So rather than going one, two, three, if I, if I was in stillness, I would just throw the finger jab and, and attack him for here. Or if I was in motion, I would just set him up or just see the situation and just go and hit him with a finger jab. And I'd be hit. It wouldn't be any one, two, three. So all this kind of one, two, three, and this jump in, jump back out, hit him, jump in and that stuff. This is just ridiculous. People don't fight like that way in the street. Mind you, stand in this position here, bam, he's straight in and that's it, finished. And you keep going until it's over. And you finger jab him, try and put him on the deck, groin kick him, try and break the leg. If anything else turns up as a target, you can't hit it. I'm going to break his ribs this way and I'm going to knock him out. But I'm not going to go jab, cross hook. Right? So, this in and out stuff is for sport. In the real world, you're in a situation, all the way in, and you keep going until it's over. Yeah. So don't get mixed up when you see these guys doing all this kind of dancing in and out stuff and this kind of kicking that way and all this. Boom, boom, boom. This is absolutely bullshit. You no, know, these people get totally slaughtered after they use that in the street. In the street, right in, overnight, clean, finished. I'll see you later.